Hello Squiddles and welcome back to PPM6 TV. Today what it is, is a rummage in the bargain bin looking for a gun mic. Now before we dig into the bargain bin, we better define what a bargain is. I mean, we could start with this, the Austrian Audio OC818, which is definitely a bargain in terms of the sound quality, uh, the functions, the whole range of innovative features and the build quality. I mean, it's a, a eight or $900 microphone, but it's a bargain. And then you've got something uh, like this, maybe at the other end of the scale. This is a Line Audio CM4. It's the bargain of bargains in the world of microphones. A uh, hundred and something pounds, maybe just under $200 in the US. Um, it's a bargain. But we always like to define a bargain. We always like to get it for less than it costs. And you won't find these discounted. They, they don't need to discount them. And uh, if you do find one secondhand, it'll probably be the same price as a new one. So it's a bargain, but is it a bargain? Now, um, you could ask the same question about this. This is, uh, we're, in the, we're in the world of gun mics now. This is an AKG 480 with a, a CK69 ULS capsule. This was AKG's top of the range gun mic, over $2,000 new. I paid less than a quarter of that. And I'd like to say it was a bargain, but I still kind of think, oh, that was quite a lot of money. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to spend that. No, forget, out of the box, forget anything beginning with S, you know, uh, Sherps, Sennheiser, Sanken. I, I did go, get a cheap-ish 416, but these are the tools of everyday professionals and um, you very rarely see them secondhand. And when you do, goodness knows what condition they're in. So if you're looking for a bargain, you have to look a bit further afield. You've got to be looking for something like this. Aha, what is it? And what does it sound like? And how much does it cost? And how big a bargain is it? Well, we'll find that out next. So what is this mystery microphone? Well, it's an AKG 568. I wouldn't say it was rare, but on the other hand, you don't come across them that regularly. Um, the first main difference is, of course, um, it's a single microphone system. It's not um, a, a screw-on capsule like AKG's um, 480 um, CK69 combination. And um, it's considerably shorter. I mean, this is a beast, really, because the, the actual 480 is, is like half the half the kind of um, length of the microphone and it's um, a good bit longer and and I do think um, if you're a professional sound recordist putting this in a basket windshield swinging it around all day you know that those few inches make a big difference um uh, the second big difference is the price um, this was over 2000 at or over $2000 um hard to say exactly how much the 568 was but I think it was around $800 um, in the US. So a much more competitive price, but you might call that mid price, maybe upper mid price um, or, or, or lower professional uh, uh, series prices. Actually, probably pretty close to um, the 416. And it is in terms of length, uh, pretty much a good match. I think that's a few millimeters longer, but nothing to write home about. And it does have a base roll off um, filter option, which of course the 416 doesn't. On the other hand, you know, there's probably very few microphones in the world with a reputation for sound quality as good as the 416. It's not Sennheiser's um, uh, newest offering. It's still available. Um, I think round about the $1,000 mark, but of course they've got the new MKH60 and stuff, or new, <laughs> relatively new, which exceed the noise specification and um, other aspects. So on paper, they're better mics. And, and when I've got a video of, of a comparison, and I think... In all honesty, uh, the newer mics do sound better, but this is still in regular use and it's a top, top class microphone. So we will now listen to this to see how the 568 does. Oh, yes, I didn't tell you the, the second bit of the price. So uh, this was about seven or eight hundred dollars. I paid one hundred and fifty dollars for it in really, really good condition. Now, you are not you're not going to get one of these in really good condition for one hundred and fifty dollars. I don't think you'll get one in really good condition for twice that. And that's what makes this a bargain mic, if you like the sound of it. So let's compare it with the sound of the 416. And here we have the 416. Classicer, if that's a word, cl more classic than Barcelona against Real Madrid. Um, and while we're listening to this, we may as well have a look at um, the AKG 568EB, very solidly built microphone, not quite as dense feeling as the um, 
416, which has got that dead solidity. But I noticed a little, little, little bit of wobble in my uh, 416 at the bottom. Certainly, there's none of that here. And um, as I say, you do get uh, uh, a filter setting there, which I've taken out at the moment. We're, we, we've been listening to this absolutely flat. There's no filter setting available in the 416. So I paid, I think, about a half to a third of what I paid for the 416, which is also in good nick, although maybe not as good nick as this. This looks to me like it's hardly ever been used. Um, maybe a little scuff on the paint down at the bottom. And um, so if you can find one of these and you like the sound, interesting to see to hear the comparison with the 416, um, then I suspect uh, you're going to get yourself a bargain. Now, it's not the only bargain in uh, gun mics, and we'll come to that later, but um, I think it would be good to add to the mix um, in this video, the um, uh, uh, 480 and the CK69, so that we can get uh, what should be, in terms of cost at the very least, and performance, I think this is a very, very quiet microphone, um, uh, the very top end of our bargain basement bin. And finally, we come to the most expensive bargain of them all, the 480 uh, 69 combination from AKG. As I say, uh, over $2,000 when new. I think that uh, they're out of production. You might find a new one still in stock somewhere or other, but I can't guarantee that. Um, and in any case, I think if you were spending that much money, you would be looking at the higher end Sherps, um, Sennheisers and so forth. However, uh, the great thing about this combination is the, you know, the versatility. You know, you can put an Omni capsule on there. You can put a cardioid capsule on there. You can put a hypercardioid capsule on there. If you can find one, I haven't been able to. Well, at least not, not at what I call a bargain. And the, the, the figures are astonishing in terms of uh, technical performance uh, and the flexibility. There is a tube that you can put. Maybe I'll show that in another video. There's a tube you can screw on the end. I have done a video on this and I meant to do more, but I haven't had a chance. Um, so this is kind of a, a two with, with one stone bargain mics and a return to, to this combination. So um, we've been made, mostly looking at the AKG C568EB. You'll now be able to compare this seven eight hundred dollar mic with this two thousand dollar mic and get an idea of what you pay the extra money for and indeed whether you think it's worth it and as i say um this i bought for less than you would buy a capsule for this combination you probably wouldn't be able to get a ck61 which would be the standard cardio capsule for 150 dollars. you might but i don't think you would certainly not in the good condition that i found this so bargain hunters get out there and grab yourself an AKG 568. Come back for the 568 against a fantastic offering from Audio-Technica, which I'll put up soon. Until then, thanks for dropping by. Do subscribe, it does help, and bye for now.